Even though we centre our, our discussion of accessibility on users with impairments, we can all relate to the experience of using an interface which is not accessible to us. Have you ever tried to use a desktop optimised site on a mobile device? Or seen this content is not available in your country when you were trying to watch a video online? So in a broad sense, you've almost certainly experienced being unable to access something. As we mentioned, this course is largely concerned with accessibility in the narrower sense of ensuring users with disabilities can access content. However, addressing accessibility issues in the narrow sense very often improves the user experience for everyone. To see why that's true, let's look at an example with some accessibility issues. This form has several. The username text and some of the text in the price details is low contrast, so it's hard for low vision users to read. Having the form labels on the left and the form fields on the right makes it hard for most people to associate them and almost impossible for someone who needs to zoom in to use the page. And this label isn't correctly associated with the checkbox. So I have to tap or click this tiny square rather than being able to click the label. Plus a screen reader user would have difficulty figuring out the association. So now let's wave our accessibility wand and see it with those issues fixed. We've made that low contrast text darker. We've modified the design so the labels are right next to the things they're labeling. And we fixed that label to be associated with the checkbox. So now I can check and uncheck it by clicking anywhere on the label. I'm much more comfortable actually using the accessible version. Sure, I could probably get by with the old version, but it would cause some extra stress and possibly cause me to make mistakes if I was in a hurry or distracted. True story, I once accidentally had something shipped to me in San Francisco instead of my parents in Australia because of a form that looked a lot like the previous one we just saw. So while we want to address accessibility first and foremost to avoid excluding people from accessing things, it certainly isn't a zero-sum game. We're more likely to make things better for everyone by addressing accessibility.